Hey guys, it's Ashley with Country View Monograms. I just want to say hi and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Ashley and I am the owner of two Etsy embroidery based shops and fairly new to YouTube and I've been bringing you guys along for work with me's and tutorials that are very um, Etsy and embroidery based. So today we're going to do something just a little bit different. So if you want to bear with me, um, I'm going to bring you guys along more with a um, day in the life of being both a stay at home or work at home mom. Um, I have a one year old daughter at home with me, so I'm trying to balance, you know, working and running both my Etsy shops with being a full time stay at home mom as well. Um, and I also am going to do a 40 question challenge today. I was tagged by um, Nita Fajita. And if you don't know who she is already here, you should go check out her channel. She does tons of embroidery. On a, sing, on a couple single needle machines. Um, so she'd be a great resource for those of you with single needles. Um, she does Cricut, she does um, tons of sewing and stuff. And she um, is amazing. She is working very hard to grow her business and she'd be also a great resource for um, those of you who are looking for inspiration, motivation, and just the how to run a business and grow your business. Um, so let's go ahead and get started today. Every day is a little bit different being a stay at home and work at home mom, but most days I get up between 5 and 5.30 in the morning. I try to sit down with my laptop around 6 a.m. and answer emails and messages. And if I need to get like embroidery files set up, I go ahead and do that as well during that time. 7.30, we're sitting here at the kitchen table having breakfast right now. Um, and I'll show you her in just a minute because part of my Friday routine is to go get a special drink at our local coffee shop. I treat myself once a week to that and um, I'll bring you guys along for that too. Um, and then our plan for today is we're going to get some um, supper going in the crock pot here soon. We're going to go down, we're going to play for a little bit. That's part of our morning routine. Um, she's a baby so her job is to play first and foremost. So we make that a priority um, is to play. We get down on the floor, we play with all the things, we read uh, and everything. Yeah, <laughs> she's eating breakfast right here next to me. Um, and then after we've played for a while, we usually go down to my office downstairs. My priority when she's home with me is her and playing. But um, we will try to balance that with um, getting some work done as well. And then uh, later this morning when she goes down for a nap, that's when I really try to work. I try to utilize those, it's usually about two hours, sometimes as many as three hours that she naps, thankfully, um, that I work. And um, during that time, I'll bring you guys along, show you what all I get done. And I'll also do the 40 questions I was tagged in. Um, they're definitely not embroidery related. They're more like personal and fun little questions, like, like a get to, excuse me, get to know me type questions so um stick around for those in a little bit can you tell everyone hi can you wave hi to us hi so this is my daughter she turned one in march she's enjoying breakfast right now um and then this is our dog he's a black lab philly can you say hi and then we also do have a couple like indoor and outdoor cats we live out of town, um, like on a main road, but out of town. So we do have a couple like indoor, outdoor cats. We kind of got them with the intention of being like farm or barn cats, but they're um, indoor pets now as well because I, I just love my pets. So we just left the coffee shop and I got my, it's called a Lotus drink. Uh, they're kind of like an energy drink. They have, I think it's green tea. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. Um, our local little coffee soda shop started carrying these and I think they're delicious. This is what's called a, called cherry pie. So it has the Lotus in it, which is the energy as cream, as cherry, 
and vanilla plus it has like a sparkling soda in it as well as the base for it and plus your ice they're probably not the best for you they have tons of caffeine but um like i said i treat myself once a week to these i figure it's no worse than drinking you know like a actual energy drinker a latte or anything else with lots of caffeine so intermittently once a week i get one of these and they are delicious so now we're back from the coffee shop and we are just gonna spend the next hour or so playing we're just sitting on the living room floor she's bringing me books and toys and i kind of let her dictate how and what we play can you say hi blakely hi <laughs> so we are just gonna play and then whoa and in about an hour um we'll go downstairs and then we'll let her play down there it's kind of like a nice little change in scenery for her and then i can get a little bit of work done at the same time too What does a cow say? Does a cow say moo? <laughs> yeah, good job. So this area probably looks a lot more familiar to you guys. This is downstairs in my office. I have little miss down here with me right now. I'm actually sitting here at my desk. I'm letting her play downstairs. She's not wanting to play today. She's wanting mama and that's okay. Um, I'm actually sitting here. I have YouTube pulled up. I'm watching one of Pamela's from Sterling Styles um, vlogs and I have my list made of jackets that I need to order and I'm going to get those ordered real quick. And then like I think I mentioned earlier, um, I have like 10 birthday shirts I need to finish. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get the files for those set up if I don't have them already. I think I have maybe a few done already and get those at least prepped so that way I can run at least two if not all three machines on those um, during nap time because it doesn't look like I'm going to get anything done um, with her down here with me. That's totally okay. Um, I don't count on getting anything done when she's here. I just like to at least try um, if she's content with playing. Um, but we're going to go ahead. I do need to at least get this order placed before noon, so before her nap. Um, so it'll ship today. And then uh, we'll go from there. And I get comments every like video of how my office is so clean and stuff. What I got to show you guys, though, this area I actually do keep pretty clean. Um, that's because I'm actively working there, but what you guys don't see, and it's not like super intentional, it's just, I'm showing you what I'm working on, is my desk area, and let me just say, you might, um, think differently, I've got all sorts of stuff, all sorts of stuff, all sorts of stuff, stuff that I still haven't unpacked from when we moved here two and a half years ago, dogs laying at my feet right now, boxes, like I said, you know, it's not super intentional that I'm not showing you guys that. It's just when I'm um, doing work with me or tutorials, you know, I'm always working over with my machines. In that area, I actually do keep clean because I need it clean to be able to work and to have the space. So my off I'm not perfect. My office is not as clean as what it probably looks. 
um, it really needs a deep clean and an organization. Um, so hopefully I'll get that done soon, the next couple weeks, while my um, husband has some time off, and get a few more projects done. She wants down. And then I'll be able to do that full tour that I've promised. So my baby's down for her nap now, and I'm back down in my office. She actually went down probably at least 20 minutes ago. Um, but I had to sit down here and set up files first so I can get going. I am actually think I might run all three machines on appliques today just to try to get those all punched out and out the door because um, those are the most pressing ones right now. Um, my power keeps, like, not flickering, but, like, just enough where you can almost see it in the lights. And they're working across um, the road from us, so kind of worried about turning everything on, but... I have to get stuff done, so I guess I'm going to take the chance today. Um, hopefully, they're not going to hit anything or do anything across the road. Um, but I'm going to set you guys over um, where you can actually see the machines, and I'm going to get to work. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the 40 questions questionnaire, like the get to know me thing that I was tagged in by Mita Fajita. And I wrote down the questions here, but I came up with 38. I'm sure I just missed a couple, so not intentional, but I'm gonna do 38 questions. Um, so the first one is blue cheese or ranch? I don't like blue cheese and I don't really like ranch either. I'll eat ranch. If I had to pick between the two, definitely ranch. Coke or Pepsi? Plain Coke? Plain Pepsi? Neither. <laughs> um, I'm kind of picky on things like that. I like Cherry Coke and I like Mountain Dew Kickstart. So I don't know if I could pick between the two. Probably more of a Pepsi person now. I used to be more of a Coke person. Are you in a relationship? Yes, I'm married. Um, we've been together for six years and married for three and a half. Whiskey, tequila, or vodka? None of the above. I don't really drink. If I have one drink, it's maybe a small glass of wine, and that's very, very rare. Um, let's see. Hot dog or cheeseburger? Um, just regularly, I'd say cheeseburger. Hold up. I have the baby monitor right next to me, and my daughter's starting to wake up. So I'm going to try to hurry through these. Hot dog or cheeseburger? More cheeseburger, but I do like hot dogs like over a fire. Um, favorite food? I actually really like food, so that's hard. Um, steak or like fresh gulf shrimp, so like when I'm in Florida. Um, drink in the morning? 
um, water, but then I also drink like the Crystal Light that has caffeine in it. Can you do 100 push-ups? No, definitely not. Maybe over the course of like a day or a week, but no, not at once. Um, favorite season? Summer, hands down. Um, we live in Illinois and we get kind of really harsh winters, but then really hot, muggy summers too. Um, but summer, still hands down my favorite. Um, my favorite hobby? I don't really have any outside of like embroidering and crafting. Um, I love to read. I don't really much anymore, but I do read. Um, starting to get into gardening. I really enjoy that. Um, cooking, I guess, if that's a hobby. Um, do you have any tattoos? No. And I honestly don't really plan to get any. It's just not my thing. Um, do I wear glasses? Sure do. I've wore ha I've had glasses since I was like second or third grade and it's just second nature to me anymore. I've tried contacts and I always end up putting my glasses on because that's what I'm used to. Do you have any phobias? Yes. Terrified of snakes. Um, I One that I've kind of got over but I'm still like a little leery of is bridges. I, I hate bridges and I don't like heights either. But I don't know if I'd call those a phobia anymore but snakes I'm terrified of. Do you have any nicknames? Mm, Ash, just for short. Um, that's about it. Your favorite candy? Snickers or Kit Kat, probably. Um, do you believe in ghosts? Not really. My biggest downfall? That's hard. I don't know. Um, I probably am too trusting or too naive of people and situations. Um, that's probably changed some over the years. I'm probably much more aware now, but I would say I kind of let people run over me a little bit. I'm kind of like other people I've heard do this questionnaire. I'm kind of too nice at times. Probably get taken advantage of because of that. Um, how old are you? I am, I had to figure this out before I did this. I'm 32. <laughs> I'll be 33 in June. Um, french fries or onion rings? French fries. Onion rings are okay, but do I have any kids? I have one daughter who just turned one in March. Um, my favorite color, aqua. If you've seen my other videos, you've seen my craft room walls. Aqua is my favorite color. Um, can you sing? Nothing that you would want to hear. Um, can you whistle? Uh, just like a quiet whistle. Like, I can't do one of those real loud whistles to get everyone's attention. Um, where were you born? A uh, small town in Illinois, and I live like an hour south of where I was born. Do you have siblings? Um, yes, I have one younger brother. He's four years younger. Can you cook? I would say yes. Um, I actually enjoy cooking. I just don't enjoy cleaning up. And I struggle with balancing and having the time to cook. Um, but another fun fact is when I was in high school and college, I actually worked and cooked in a kitchen at a hospital. Um, are you religious? Yes, I'm a Christian and we do go to church most Sundays. Shower or bath? Um, just for every day, shower. Um, I like a nice steaming hot scalding shower, um, but the bath's nice every once in a while, nice and relaxing. Country or city? Country, hands down. I mean, it's my business name. Um, country. We live in the country, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I like visiting the city, I find it fun, but to live, country. Um, are you a good friend? Yes, but I'm... Me and my couple of my friends joke, like, we have the friendship where you might not talk for months, but then one of you messages each other, and you, it's like nothing's passed. So in the sense of, do we, I talk to friends frequently or keep in tab, close tabs? No. But I think it's a mutual thing with the friends I do have is, um, you know, we're always there for each other. We would be there at a heartbeat if we need something, but we're not like super like talk every day type friends, I guess. Um, have you broke any bones? Uh, I had a stress fracture. 
when I was younger from running. I used to be a runner. Definitely don't run anymore. Um, how many TVs do you own? Mm, technically two. Uh, we have one TV in our living room. That's the only one we have upstairs. There's technically a 19-inch TV, a real small TV, in my office. That's not even plugged in, nor has it been plugged in in the two and a half or three years we've lived in this house. And that uh, year since I've moved into my new office, it's I don't think it's ever been plugged in. Um, worst pain you've ever felt? Back labor. Um, when I was having my daughter. Do you like camping? Believe it or not, even though I live in the country, I've never really been truly camping. I mean, like as a kid, we slept in a tent in our backyard, um, but never really went camping. I'd be okay with going camping if it was like in a camper or RV. I don't really want to go sleep in a tent. Um, biggest desire, just to be completely financially free. Um, we're definitely working on that. Um, paying things off, being free, um, just having, like, I don't plan to make extravagant amounts of money, but just to have enough where, you know, debt's paid off and you're just completely free and can do a little bit more what you want, when you want it. Um, can you dance? No, definitely not. Microwaved or cooked food? Um, definitely cooked food or I'll add grilled food. Um, so this is where I only came up with 37 questions and then the 40th one was supposed to be tag six people. So I'm apparently missing two questions. Sorry, not intentional. And tag six people. This is where I'm going to struggle because I don't know who's done this challenge. I try to watch and be active on everyone else's pages, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to go through and see if I can find a couple people that have not been tagged yet. These are the three that I was able to finish. This one, I get asked every time I show this one. This fabric is from Hobby Lobby, but I think it might be um, being discontinued because it's super hard to find. It's from Hobby Lobby though. Um, there's the balloon design. This one, if I ever have to stitch this design again, I am like gonna tear this design apart in my software and re um, set everything because how it stitched out was absolutely terrible. You might have actually saw me get super frustrated when I was setting up the design on the machine and I started all over because I I did it wrong. Um, and then this little three Rex one. So my daughter's actually awake now. I could hear her on the monitor. I haven't went and looked yet, but um, I'm gonna print these shipping labels real quick and get these packaged since it won't take me very long since there's only three finished, unfortunately. And um, then we're gonna take these into town to the post office. I have my packages all loaded up and ready to go. One, just first class, I use these um, balloon mailers and I get them from Uline. And then two, I do use the flat rate cardboard ones just because they're a little bit cheaper and they fit shirts in there um, just fine. I do always tape these though. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and drop these at the post office and then stop at our small town grocery store and pick up some provolone cheese for our um, French dip sandwiches tonight. So from here on out the rest of the evening, it's pretty chill. We have a snack right now. Um, Daddy should be home shortly, or my husband, and then we'll just play the rest of the evening, have supper, bath, and bedtime. I probably will have to uh, more work this evening. I try not to work uh, most evenings, but I need to finish some orders to go out tomorrow. So I will have to go back downstairs to my office and work either um, this evening while they're playing up here or after she's in bed. Um, so I'm going to sign off for today. Um, thanks so much for following along with this um, kind of day in the life of being a work at home or stay at home mom and how I kind of manage everything. Um, if you guys have any specific questions, I'd love to answer them, but um, I'll see you guys later.